Well, Dugout News YouTube channel is what you're watching. Welcome aboard. Got some new news for you concerning Ben Whitaker, Liam Cameron. Now, Ben Whitaker has broken his silence after he was injured following a tumble out of the ring against uh, Liam Cameron. Whitaker took on resilient uh, star Liam Cameron in what was believed to be a good matchup uh, for the Benzo to continue his hot streak as his uh, stardom continued uh, uh, to grow. But it proved uh, to be anything but as uh, he struggled in uh, a firefight with uh, Liam Cameron before an uh, incident uh, saw the pair tumble out of the ring. The Briton left the ring in a wheelchair after moments of treatment saw him unable to continue and the fight was declared a draw. It is now unlikely he will return until 2025 where an immediate square is expected uh, to be uh, pursued. And uh, when posting on uh, social media, the surgeon revealed uh, he will be back in the near future. The caption, first read, updated injury. Just left my uh, last uh, session with uh, my physical therapist and uh, his, uh, uh, his the latest Whitaker then posted a clip from a film uh, uh, Taradega Nights where uh, Ricky Bobby played uh, by Will Ferrell has uh, convinced himself he's paralyzed and uh, is wheelchair bound. At the conclusion of the clip, he gave a real update to fans adding back soon, don't worry. The get back is going to be amazing. Whitaker now faces an uphill battle to get back into condition to face Liam Cameron again and restore his dominant start to life in the ring. He struggled with the rugged uh, Liam Cameron, who was uh, left extremely disappointed with the outcome of proceedings. Liam Cameron has since signed with Frank Warren and is campaigning uh, regularly for a short at redemption. He believes he deserves. When giving a more detailed look at uh, Whitaker's next move, Ben Shalom revealed that changes will need to be made. It was a bad night for Ben Whitaker. Ben Shalom told uh, Talksport Drive, I've never seen Ben Whitaker perform like that. I knew from uh, the first round he wasn't right. His energy levels, his timing, and he wasn't, uh, rather, he was getting hit with uh, shots he never normally gets caught with. Ben Shalom continued that Ben Whitaker, in the right mindset, should be dealing with uh, Liam Cameron, no problem. So, huge uh, changes for now are needed uh, for him to do take place. I feel for him, in a way. He has become one of the most recognizable faces overnight, but he needs to get things right in the ring. But I believe that uh, it will be the making of him. He's in uh, a bad way and uh, he is a perfectionist. He will make uh, of, his, uh, of this exactly what he should and uh, he will be back. I believe we will see that rematch, but first he has to go through a rehabilitation process. I don't know how long yet he's not going to fight this year he was planned to return in december but he won't be available uh, then that is ben shalom talking about uh, possible return of uh, uh, ben whitaker now we have to uh, clearly uh, understand that uh, ben whitaker was yet to be tested in any way if you look at uh, the kind of opposition uh, uh, he has been facing, uh, you, you feel that they didn't give him that much test up to until the, uh, that time when uh, Liam Cameron came in. Uh, he's a journeyman. He has been around for some time and uh, he was willing to spoil the party. Uh, he put him under a pressure that uh, Ben Whitaker had never seen before. And uh, the results had started bearing uh, some uh, fruits in there. You see, he was being caught with shots because 
uh, he was under intense uh, pressure from uh, uh, Liam Cameron. Uh, it wasn't, uh, but we we had seen that uh, whenever you you love to 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 move around and uh, do uh, show boating and all that, uh, there is a time when you will be caught, and that's what happened. But when he did start his career, he was getting wins via KOs, uh, uh, fighting unknown guys, journeymen and all that. Up until th these last fights, when he fought um, Eworetise Ezra, Arenyeka, and uh, that fight with Liam Cameron. I think that uh, what Ben Shalom should be doing is trying to, to get some uh, confidence boosters uh, for him before he goes in for any rematch. Uh, he wasn't the, the Ben Wittek and uh, uh, some boxers had already said that uh, when he gets into real fights, uh, he will be found out and uh, he will be knocked out. Uh, what he's doing uh, deserves uh, to stay at uh, that lower level. But when he goes to uh, when he goes into one level of uh, fights, he needs to change and be more serious in that squared circle. And maybe that's what happened in that uh, 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 fight against Liam Cameron. But uh, we'll wait and see. Ben Shalom saying that uh, he wasn't the Ben Whitaker we used to. But that's all said. And uh, we, we can't uh, say that uh, it's, it was about more of Ben Whitaker. Uh, we have to also give credit to Liam Cameron. The guy came to fight, and uh, even when um, uh, they, they, they bundled themselves out of the ring, you, you think that uh, uh, Liam Cameron wanted to continue fighting, and so many people have come out to say that uh, uh, Ben Wittek affected that injury. I can't confirm. So and uh, they're telling us that he's still in that rehabilitation process. So uh, he needs to come back first. Maybe uh, what the ideal boxing fans would want is for him to fight uh, Liam Cameron, uh, correct uh, the wrongs that uh, he made in that fight, and go on to fight for possibly a title. But you have to understand that one of the roles of a promoter like Ben Shalom is to first to protect your fighter, and uh, to try and put him in those good fights, uh, fights that suit his talent, but not to overexpose him quite early in his career before he, he piles up the wins. Uh, that is a hidden, hidden role that uh, many promoters do. That's why you hear of uh, built fighters, that he was built uh, to be champion, and he didn't become champion because of uh, his skill set or talent. You've heard of those stories. I don't want to mention names of guys that have been called so. But uh, it is what it is. And uh, Ben Whitaker telling us that uh, he's on the road to recovery. And he will be back soon, possibly early next year. He will be uh, fighting someone. I don't know if uh, it is Liam Cameron. I don't see that much enthusiasm from uh, uh, Ben Whittaker and his promoter, Ben Shalom. Plus your comment in the comment section below. I sign out. Peace.